Few sci-fi movies can hold a candle to such greats that define the genre, like Alien, uh, Blade Runner, Star Wars, Terminator. But I'm here to say Looper just might be a candidate. Looper is a sometimes gory rated R time-traveling sci-fi from writer-director Ryan Johnson, which is set in the year 2044. Joe, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, is a Looper, a hitman whose targets are sent back to him from 30 years in the future, where time travel exists. A looper gets paid an exorbitant amount of money and can live the high life for 30 years. After that, they must close their own loop and kill their future selves. Sound interesting? Uh, it only gets better, actually. The time traveling this film is not the focus, uh, as Ryan Johnson mentioned in a recent interview, but uh, the characters are what this film is about. Nevertheless, I believe the elements of time travel portrayed in the film are sound. Not only that, but the action's relentless, uh, the cast is phenomenal, Jeff Daniels, Paul Dano, Piper Parabo, Emily Blunt, they all drive this world and its characters into the edge of realism. The director also adds beautiful, minute touches um, visually to make this, this future uh, relatable and yet somehow wondrous at the same time. A big gripe for some critics I've read already uh, was the makeup that they chose to... Um, make Joseph Gordon-Levitt resemble Bruce Willis. Uh, this to me is not only a small nitpick, but it, it's overly stated. The makeup worked for me, and it, so much in fact that I began to see Bruce Willis in Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, you know, if, if director Ryan Johnson chose this method, it shouldn't be an issue to the audience. Because most times, myself, I find when casting, uh, you know, brothers or sisters or, you know, future selves, they never really cast people that look like, so I think this really helps nail that uh, and drive that home. Uh, one of my issues I had with the film, though, is the ending, and in no means a bad ending. It just I guess it's not what I expected, and it kind of kind of sets a different tone uh, from the rest of the film. But very, it's still a very good ending. I just I guess I expected something else, but I can't really knock him for that. However, Looper has the qualities of what defines great sci-fi. It has a killer premise, builds upon the said premise, and most importantly, and I cannot stress this enough, it, it actually creates this world where this premise can reside. It's, it's you know, look at any of those films I mentioned earlier, and they all created a world that felt realized. Some films focus too much on one setting, or they don't develop a rich enough backstory, but Looper manages this and so much more. With that said, it's tough to rate a film after the first viewing because the afterglow can shroud your true feelings. But I am confident that in time, this movie will be regarded as one of the greats, uh, if not of all time, at least from this generation. I give Looper a 4.5 out of 5 stars.